hello guys welcome to our channel and today we will come up with a very simple example but a very different one in which we will discuss how can we make a bar chart and in this bar chart how can we relate the data of a simple uh, student mark sheet and here you can see the example in this example I just wrote uh, the marks of some subjects and then I just uh, give the total marks and then obtained marks and, and in the last one we just uh, got the percentage by using simple formula and with the help of percentage it will reflect us the student performance for suppose if I just write here uh, 100 so you can see the increment in the percentage as well as you can see the increment in the student performance for example if i just write here 70 so you can see the decrement in the obtained marks as well as percentage and that percentage is reflected in this chart so how can we make this chart we will just make it from the scratch so that you will get better understanding of how you can make this type of simple example so i just come here here in the second sheet and you have to just first uh, start, zoom in and then you have to first write the subject and then you have to just write the marks in subject you just write the science and English then computer history and the last one is maths now you have to just uh, give the total marks and in the last one obtain marks and in the very last you have to just write the percentage box first you have to just make it presentable and uh, I also made it presentable so that it will be more attractive to everyone now I just write here and first I just write here in the and make it uh, central alignment and then I make it bold again this one bold and the last one bold now I just color it so that it will be more attractive to everyone and now I just write here the another color and in this last one I just use another color now you can put the marks randomly so I just uh, give the marks to the students uh, randomly and now it says total marks so how you can use the total marks here one subject is equals to 100 marks so the five subjects becomes 500 now the opt-in marks so how you can get the opt-in marks you have to just write the sum of formula you have just write equals to assume sum bracket open now just select all the numbers and you have to just close the bracket and enter here so it gives you the total sum of marks now percentage for percentage we just use equals to bracket to open we have to uh, make a formula manually so for percentage I just use equals to and then bracket first obtain marks divide by our total marks close the bracket then asterisk asterisk for multiplication then you have to just write 100 so you can see it gives you the percentage of 72.8 this is how we just use the percentage now with the help of percentage we have to make a bar chart so you have to click on the cell of percentage now here you can see the tabs in this tab you have to go here and insert and insert you have to go here in column and you can make it two dimensional graph you can see it and here you have to just uh, make it smaller or you have to just make it as per your choice I just made it and now here you can see the values so first you have to just change the title how you can change the title you have to just select the title and here you have to just write here the student performance and you have to just select and make its font size small and here you can see the student performance now we just proceeded you can uh, delete or you can take it as per your own choice you you can delete it or you have to just make it just bigger or smaller it's up to you so I just make it somehow a big percentage and just right here now you can see I just first delete these things 
and then we have to just give it limit for example if I just select here 81 and if I just 100 so here you can see it changed it uh, limit from 100 if I just write another so first you have if I just write here 50 so you can see it gives you the length of 80 so we have to uh, decide or we have to make fixed length from 0 to 100 so how can we use we have to first select the cell and here you can see the format axis you have to go here and here you can see the axis option in the axis our minimum is starts from 0 and our maximum goes to 100 it makes it fixed so you have to just close it and here you can see it fixed it and then you have to just uh, erase the lines you can erase and then you have you can drag it or you can make it or stretch it as per your need and now here you can see the uh, lines so you can also change the lines toward the outward so you have to just go here in format axis and here you can see the major tick line so you can see inside and here you can see it uh, changed towards the inside this is how you can change it now if I just write here of uh, 60 so here you can see the increment change if I just write here 100 so you can change if I just write here again so here you can change the value this is how our student performance chart can be made with the help of bar chart and we also use sum up function and percentage sign if you like our video please share and subscribe and if you face any confusion you can write in our comment section thank you so much for watching our channel